Ever wanted to add some cool effects to your website without messing up your HTML? Let me show you how to use pseudo elements in classes in CSS. These little tricks make it super easy to style specific parts of your page and add content without any extra code. It's a game changer for styling your websites. Let's jump in. We start off with a simple HTML page, which has only some elements on it, an h1 heading, a text paragraph and an unordered list. And now we are going to use CSS for styling the pseudo elements. To create styling so pseudo elements, we have to write a normal selector like P in this case, followed by two columns and then after or before. Here we want to create a pseudo element after the text paragraph, so we write p colon colon after. And then we can use the content property to create some content, like here, a funny list emoji, which is not part of the DOM, but still it will be displayed in the browser. Have a look. Similar to the after pseudo element, we can create a before element, which will be rendered before. In this case, it will be shown before every list item of the list. So we use the content property again to show a little check mark before each of the list items. Take a look at the browser. Before each of the list items, we have now a little check mark. Now let's learn to use the first pseudo class. Pseudo classes are created similar to pseudo elements, but instead of two columns, we have to use only one. So if, for example, we want to target the last list item of the list, we can write ULLI colon last child. Let's increase the font size of the last child by setting the font size property to 35 pixels. And we can also take it even one step further by combining pseudo elements with pseudo classes. Let's create a pseudo element for the last child of the list and let's use the content property to display a heart emoji. And if we want to create stylings for the first list item, we can use the first child pseudo class. Let's change the color of the first list item to dark orange. And if we want to target a specific element, which is not first or last child, we can use the nth child pseudo class. The nth child pseudo class class is a function with one argument, the index of the element we want to style. So we want to target the second list item, so we pass the number 2. And we want to change the color to sky blue. We can do even more crazy stuff by targeting only the first letter. The first letter pseudo element is used for that. So we write p colon colon because it's a pseudo element and not a pseudo class and then first letter. Let's make the first letter really huge by setting the font size to 30 pixels. Next Next, let's create a really really long text which wraps to multiple lines because I want to show you that we can even target a specific line of a text. For example, we could make the first line of the text bold by using the first line pseudo element. So we write p colon colon first line and then we set the font weight to bold. And finally, we will have a look at the most commonly used pseudo class in my opinion, the so-called hover pseudo class. The hover pseudo class is used to create cool mouse over effects. So when we hover over an element with our mouse, we could change the background color, for example. Let's change the background color of our list container to green when we hover over it. And take a look at the browser. As soon as the mouse is over the element, the background turns to green. Okay, we have reached the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked it and learned a lot. To support my work, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to not miss any content about learning to code. So see you next time and happy learning!